Hi, today we're going to talk about my Raspberry Pi file server. Here we are under my TV and you can see that this box doesn't really have the sleek black look of everything else, but that's okay. Inside is where all the file serving stuff happens. Now I'm just going to, I've already unplugged, I'm just going to take it down and uh, start to show you some of the bits of how it works. But basically I reckon there's two types of people watching today. There's people who have a Raspberry Pi and aren't really sure what they should do with it. And there's another group who are considering a NAS, a network attached server, uh, or some other type of file server, and they're looking for uh, a cheaper, more economical, more controllable way of doing it. And I think this is definitely the right way. So just looking at my Tupperware box here, um, just going to open it up. Inside, you can see, uh, there's the Raspberry Pi. Uh, underneath in this corner here is a uh, USB port hub. Uh, it's powered. Uh, this is a hard drive and under here there's another hard drive down there as well. I don't know if you can quite see that. So this is a three terabyte on top and that's a two terabyte underneath. Uh, this is a power bar. Uh, this white thing here. And uh, here are the uh, power connectors. So there's uh, one for each of the hard drives and then one for the powered USB hub. Now I'm just going to move this cable out of the way here so we can get a better look inside. Again, the hardware of it is, is really simple. I've just thrown in the Raspberry Pi uh, without a case on it uh, because it never gets too hot. Uh, and this uh, powered USB hub underneath here, you can see it's uh, Dick Smith branded. Um, uh, it's good enough. It uh, seems to do the job. Now, I don't have anything uh, other than the USB currently, the USB hub currently plugged into the back of the Pi. And I only have two hard drives, so I could actually go without the without the hub, but then I'd need a, a Raspberry Pi power supply in there, uh, and I wouldn't have the ability to uh, add a keyboard or another hard drive uh, if ever I needed. So that's why I've done that. Uh, by putting everything inside, I've made a quite a neat little package here, uh, one that I can easily uh, tuck under the TV, although today I'm actually going to be moving it. Uh, just to have a look over here. Here's what I'm up to. I'm using uh, power line adapters. Uh, I've got uh, two boxes there. I'm going to use these power line adapters to uh, move the server to a different location in the house, uh, just so it's not exposed uh, under the TV if ever uh, someone decides to illegally come inside and try to take my stuff. Uh, this will be somewhere different, uh, and it probably won't look like it's uh, of much use. Anyway, so uh, there you have it. Uh, my Raspberry Pi file server. Uh, there's a lot of uh, software stuff that goes in into making this, and I'll, I'll post the relevant links below. But basically, we start with Raspbian. Uh, after Raspbian, uh, on top of it is uh, a Samba server, uh, which allows access uh, from the a Windows network essentially um, to the hard drives. Uh, I've also used NFS, which I find is much uh, much faster and more practical. Uh, it's a better file server, especially as most of my house is uh, Linux-based. Uh, then on top of that, there's a, a whole raft of uh, programs you can choose to use. Uh, one of them that I really recommend that you check out is OwnCloud. Again, the links will be in the section below. Um, the one last thing I'm going to say just before I go is uh, the best part about using a Raspberry Pi in this sort of application, not just is it the most stable thing you can get, but it's going to be so much cheaper than any of the NASes you can buy off the shelf. Imagine the extensibility. You can use things like rsync so that you can clone the use of, say, uh, Apple's Time Machine. Uh, you, can, uh, you can automatically back things up by constantly running versions of Dropbox. Uh, you could uh, use this to automatically back things up or share things across the network, uh, prepare folders um, for different activities, uh, and make sure that nothing is ever uh, you know, left to chance. I really recommend a setup like this. Uh, like I say, I've just put mine inside this uh, Tupperware box, uh, Systema branded Tupperware box, uh, just because it was convenient. But uh, any uh, anything you can do, even just uh, I've seen some people who've uh, just gaffer taped it to their hard drives. Again, it's a great use. I, I highly recommend this. This was 
uh, one of my first projects, if not my very first. And and uh, it really helps you learn a lot about Linux and the things that happen on this board and with these chips. Uh, and in the end, uh, it's running headless, so there's no video attachment to it. And every time I connect to it, it's via the network. Uh, it's great. Can't say enough good things about it. If you have any questions, post them below. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.